coming. I was not. <laughs> no, he's right there. He's oh. in the. He's in the. Hey, morning. Look at Harper's hair. Oh, morning hair. Morning hair. Cracker, say good morning. Good morning. No, he's not over there. He's over here. He is right there in the coffee mug. That's where Alvin is. Okay, so we've got lunches packed and ready, or done and ready. It was so freaking cold the entire weekend, and today it is hot. It's in the 70s. Go figure. So, and those chair pads need to be brought in. Um, and there were actually mosquitoes this weekend. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. So, and there's somebody out there on the golf course. Do you see the golf cart way over there? Oh, there it is. So there's somebody out there already. Crazy. And there's some trash out there. It's beautiful. Alrighty, we're going to get going. Time to go. Let's go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Let's go. Cracker thinks I'm talking to him. Go, Harper, go. Go, Harper, go. Get dressed. Hurry, hurry. Are you in? Oh, my gosh. No, not yet. It was a garage. All right, we are on our way to school. All dressed and ready. Right? You found? That's cute. So what are we waiting on? So a seatbelt. Wow, what a cool notion. Seatbelts. Always waiting on seatbelts. Crazy. My mom has this thing about seatbelts. Abel's ignoring. It's not my thing. I don't have a thing about seatbelts. It's the law, and it's what you're supposed to do in a car. Hey, Abel. So it's not my thing. We're gonna be late. You want to change the Our law, you need to go. Our goal is to be out by seven. Yes, it is. Our, if you want to change the law, you don't want to wear seatbelts anymore, you need to go talk to your state rep and your senators. Maybe they'll change the law for you. I highly doubt it, but maybe. Well, Abel, can you? Uh, Thank you. Dude. Thank you. We're all okay. waiting in the car for him. Hey, okay. So, it's not me, right? It's the law. That's what you're expected to do. That's what you do. Right? Ignorance is not above the law. Okay? And furthermore, I do it because I love you. It's just out of pure love that I want you to be safe. Jeez, alrighty, we're going to school. Okay, I came to um, Walgreens because my nails are so brittle and so dry, it's driving me nuts. I've cut them down all the way, like to the edges. Um, and I thought, like for Eva's Christmas party, I put, um, her birthday party. I put glitter on them and I tried to build up three coats. It wasn't opaque enough. I should have done a color, like a blue color, and then put the glitter on top. Um, but anyway, just to kind of cover it up because they were, they're just, they're bad. They're in bad shape. And they're peeling from the edges, like going inward. And they catch on everything. Um, and it's driving me nuts. So I came to get the Sally hardest nails hardest wraps um, because I've used this before when my nails are horrible and a, like a week or two they feel better um, and it just kind of keeps them together until they grow out enough that I can clip away the edges that are damaged um, and it's you know it's cleaning and unpacking Christmas and everything you know you're banging your nails on things and it just the blunt like the blunt hits destroy my nails so that and then this, I love this. This is the Argo Ginger, Green Tea Ginger Twist. I love it. I love ginger. I love the way ginger tastes um, and the way, I don't know, I just like drinking it. Like ginger tea or um, even biting just a little piece of ginger or putting it in a smoothie, anything like that. I don't know. I get that from my dad. He loves ginger. He always had these little ginger candies um, growing up. And I think they were Celestial Seasonings ginger candies. They may have been something else, but you could only find them at Whole Foods, like Uptown Houston. And now we have more Whole Foods than just that one. Um, but you could only find them there. Or we could find them at Eatsy's, back when Eatsy's was around. If you're like late 90s, um, mid 90s, you'll know what Eatsy's is. I wish they would bring that store back. My dad lived at that store growing when I was growing up. Um, he would pick us up from school and we would go in there. And literally, like, we would get dinner and you could buy bread. I mean, it was it was like a little market place, but it was like European, like a European deli. So they had different cuts of meats, different cheeses, different chips and, like, breads and just imports from all over. And it was so awesome. You could eat there at the deli. Um, you could have, like, meals made and take them home. It was a really, really nice place. And I loved it. And I guess it was prime real estate because they bought it and tore it down 
um, and somebody developed it over by the Galleria. But they never brought the store back, and I'm like, the store was awesome. That was like the first European market in Houston. Now we have like the Phoenician downtown, or um, Spex has their own little deli. There's quite a few little market, European market styles, uh, style places, but that one was like the introduction to Houston. Like that was where everybody went. Well, Rice Epicurean always had a little deli, but that was awesome. Anyway, so I wish he would bring that back, but he always had ginger candies from there and they were so good. Um, so yeah, I love ginger tasting things. Anyway. Being the why, right, son? Because I haven't filmed very much at all today. It's kind of odd. Harper, get out of there. Come here. Come on. Come on, come on. Get out of there. Um, it's been kind of a busy day. Busy and... So the YMCA basketball game. And a, yeah, for the basketball game. So that, come on, Harper. Walk, baby, walk. Um, I haven't turned the camera on at all very much today. It's kind of crazy. Uniform? Do you have to wear a uniform? Yeah. Yeah? I'm sure you do, probably. No, I don't want to do that. If you I'm going to wear a uniform, no, my hair is back. Come on, Harper. I am deciding to do volleyball. My volleyball with a Mr. Muppet Puppy. It will stop. Get the thing out of my face. Okay. So volleyball is what you yeah. want to do. And you? Volleyball. You don't want to do anything? No. They have he's, basketball. He's been lazy. When I get all, older. All you are older already. You don't want to play volleyball? No, I mean, a basketball? Get, no, when I get so, so smart. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Make your yes, mind up. This no, I son, you've got to play something. You can't be lazy. I, I don't start, want lazy um, kids. I started playing sports when I was like uh, five to six. Five to six, baby. You got to get in the back seat. And I am still doing sports because my mom has got me into the habit. So I'm athletic. Well, we need to get you into the habit, child. Yeah, I don't look want what lazy happened. kids, Abel. Mom, look what happened. You got to play something. Mom. Look you gotta play something now, cause you gotta get into I a sport. I don't like to play anything. A sport, a you language, this much. and an instrument. This much. What instrument are you gonna play? Stop! Don't do that. What instrument are you gonna play? It will uh, stop. A trombone. A trombone? Yes. That's cool. What instrument are you gonna play? The violin. The violin. That's an awesome. You know what? You should have already started training. Ow! You gotta learn. <laughs> That's smart. Can I learn music? <laughs> that is so smart. Is it music? Is yeah, a music. You gotta learn an instrument. Yeah. I want y'all to be able you know to do what? all three we'll of those turn things. You on to go to the Christmas lights. Oh Lord. Okay, let's go. Please. Yes. Hey, get in the back.